ون پی ایم پاکستان اسٹینڈرڈ ٹائم السلام علیکم دس از ریڈیو پاکستان دا نیوز ریڈ بائی محمد زبیر خان فرسٹ دی ہیڈ لائنس پرائم منسٹر انوگریٹڈ نیولی کنسٹرکٹڈ بلڈنگ آف اے اسکول ان فلڈ ہٹ ایریا آف صحبت پور بلوچستان ٹوڈے شہباز شریف ہیز اے شو ٹو ایکسٹینڈ فل سپورٹ ٹو ریلیجیس سیمینریز فار پروویژن آف ایجوکیشن ایز پر ماڈرن ڈے ریکوائرمنٹس Foreign Office has rejected the baseless and frivolous accusations made by Indian Minister of External Affairs targeting Pakistan. The United States has again called an interim Afghan government to ensure that its soil is not used by terrorists against Pakistan. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Muhammad Shahbaz Sharif during his visit of Balochistan inaugurated the new building of flood-affected government boys' secondary school Kili Jaya Khan today. The Chairman NDMA and Chief Secretary Blochistan will brief Prime Minister about ongoing rehabilitation process in the flood-affected area. Prime Minister Shahbaz Sharif has assured to extend full support to religious seminaries for provision of education as per modern-day requirements. Speaking to a delegation of Ittihad-e Tanzimat-e Madaris in Islamabad, he said the government will not only give more autonomy in the management of seminaries but also facilitate their registration process. The Prime Minister commended the efforts of religious seminaries for promotion of Islamic teachings. He said the seminaries have always protected the interests of Pakistan. Describing them as one of biggest networks of NGOs, the Prime Minister said about 4 to 5 million students are getting education in the seminaries. The Foreign Office has rejected the remarks made by the Indian Minister of External Affairs targeting Pakistan. Responding to media queries, the Foreign Office spokesperson Mumtaz Zahra Baloch said Indian External Affairs Minister's latest tirade is a reflection of growing frustration over India's failure to malign and isolate Pakistan. She said for last several years India has engaged in a malicious campaign to mislead the international community through a fictitious narrative of victimhood and vile anti-Pakistan propaganda. This practice must stop. The spokesperson said India's continued anti-Pakistan Dai tribe cannot hide its brazen involvement in fomenting terrorism on Pakistan's soil nor can it conceal the reality of state sponsored terrorism in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir she said instead of pointing fingers at others india should itself and its involvement in terrorism subversion and espionage against pakistan the us embassy in islamabad is marking 75 years of bilateral partnership with Pakistan by illuminating a building at Constitutional Avenue in Islamabad. The illumination which started yesterday will continue till 11th of this month. Using innovative technology, the three-dimensional moving projection highlights key themes and images of Pakistan-US relations. In a statement, US mission charged the affairs, Andrew Shoffer said, his country has worked with Pakistan to support energy, agriculture, public health, education, infrastructure, and people to people connections Kashmiris on both sides of the line of control in the world over will observe right to self determination day tomorrow call for observance of the day has been given by all parties huriyat conference protest demonstrations rallies seminars and other programs will be held in azad jammu and kashmir pakistan and in all major capitals of the world to invite world attention towards the long pending kashmir dispute the united states has again called on interim government of Afghanistan to ensure that soil is not used as launching pad for terrorist activities saying Pakistan has the right to hit back at terrorism during daily news briefing state department spokesman net price said Pakistan has the right to defend itself from terrorism as people have suffered tremendously from terrorist attacks he said we are aware of the recent statement by the Pakistani national security committee that said no country will be allowed to provide sanctuaries and facilitation to the terrorists and that Pakistan reserves the right to safeguard its people. On the third day of the second cricket test against New Zealand in Karachi, Pakistan were 251 for the loss of four wickets in the first innings a short while ago. Earlier, New Zealand scored 449 in the first innings. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analysis, 
log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official